Today we're going to talk about Arundinaria gigantea, and I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right, but we know it better as river cane. And river cane had a lot of uses in the 18th century and to many cultures before that. <laughs> You know, river canes had a lot of uses for mankind over the centuries. Native tribes used it for baskets, blowguns, fish traps, spears. You can even make knives out of this stuff if you fire harden it correctly. Now today we know river cane to be this smaller, maybe three quarter of an inch or so in diameter type of plant. But what if I told you that back in the 18th century, portions of it more closely resembled its cousin bamboo. What if I told you that some of it could get as large as two inches in diameter? Andre Michaud, a French traveler in the southern colonies, described river cane in the late 18th century by saying the stock is sometimes as thick as a goose quill, but in the rich lands bordering on the rivers and in between the mountains, some stock are as much as two and even three inches in diameter. The height is sometimes 25 to 30 feet. Now, during the 18th century, there were several different methods of carrying water from place to place. Now, I'm not talking about carrying water from a well to a cabin or from a stream to a camp. I'm talking about carrying water on foot or on horseback while traveling from place to place. One of the more common ways for Europeans to carry water was a canteen like this. This is a wooden canteen. They were also made of tin and other types of material. Another common method was just simply an old bottle, right? This is an old wine style bottle from the 18th century. And we know this was carried from one of the images by a German explorer named Von Reck, who drew watercolor images of Native Americans in Georgia in the 18th century. And one of the things that he shows is a Native American going hunting, carrying a bottle in his hand, just like this one. But there was one other way to carry water in the 18th century that's seldom discussed, and that's the use of river cane. James Adair, an Irish trader who lived with most of the southeastern tribes in the late 18th century, said that, When I roved the woods in a war party with the Indians, though I carried no scrip, which is a type of small bag or wallet, nor bottle, nor staff, I kept a large hollow cane well corked at each end, and used to shear off now and then to drink while they suffered greatly by thirst. Now what Adair meant by that is a little fuzzy, but we do know that he carried no bag or wallet or bottle as we discussed before for water, but he did carry a large hollow cane and he used to shear off. Now we have to kind of research what the term shear off meant in the 18th century. And shear off is, is a nautical term that uh, usually means to sort of steer away from an oncoming vessel or something um, to get out of its way. So he used to shear off or sort of get out of the Native uh, Americans' way to, to drink some water now and again. Now, what would a river cane canteen have looked like in the 18th century? We don't know for sure, so we have to go with some conjecture. Now, I've chosen to make mine horizontally like this, but there's another way you could try it, and that's vertically. I've chosen horizontally for a couple of different reasons. Number one, Adair's quote says that his cane is well corked at both ends, and bamboo and river cane grow in segments like this, and those segments uh, have a natural cork at either end that keeps your water inside. Making one of these canteens is really easy. You just have to find a segment that's both wide enough and long enough to hold a decent amount of water for you. All I've done is come in and cut out another section between the, the, the nodules here on the bamboo. So I've got the natural portion here to hold the water, and I've got another portion here to hold the string. Plenty strong enough. Now I've, I've fire hardened this over a fire. I've dried it pretty well, and it could probably stand a little bit more drying uh, additionally. But for now, I think it's gonna work just fine. And it's 
Now, some people probably wonder about the taste of the water. It does have a little bit of a bamboo or river cane taste, but it's a little sweet to me. It actually tastes pretty good. But again, time will tell how well this thing holds up. A big question is how much does it hold? Well, if you think about it, this holds about as much as, let's say, a modern um, uh, Nalgene-style water bottle or one of the modern like metal or plastic camping-style uh, water bottles. Now, these canteens aren't going to be permanent. They do seem to be temporary. If you drop one, you'll blow these corked ends here out very quickly. Uh, and also, time will tell just how... Uh, it handles holding water, whether we get mold, mildew, or rot. Not much to this episode of the Deerskin Diary. Just a cool use for river cane and a really cool quote by James Adair. And one of the things that this research led me into is researching what river cane faces now. And the American river cane plant faces habitat loss, both from herbicides, from agriculture, and from wildland fire suppression. So one of the things we can do is help it along. There are organizations out there that are working hard to replant river cane into the large cane breaks that used to be so common throughout the American South and the American frontier. One of the other things we can do is when we encounter or need river cane, we only take as much as we need. We don't take any more than that. Uh, and that's just to help keep this plant going, a very important uh, and vital part of our own American history. So thanks for sharing history with us. And if you like these videos, please click like and subscribe and it tells us what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy and helps us make more. We'll see you next time on the Deerskin Diaries. And many thanks to Nathan Kobuck. His article in his blog, The Buffalo Trace, uh, discusses Native American methods for carrying water, and it really got me kick-started and interested in this topic.